Awesome. So after we have saved this, and this is probably a new part, then it is time to create a little bit of a longer sausage, right? <laughs> and we already applied these. So, um, mm -hmm. also this sausage. Bam. I want to make them even longer. Let's do a count of eight for everything. Seven, eight. This one also a count of eight. Awesome. And I want to make the, sure that this moves around a curve because you can see in our uh, picture here that it has a very nice curve to it, right? And yeah, we do this with curves. Curve BG or how the fuck you call that? Y, Z, and here you have our curve. So if you click on every part, you can add a modifier and this modifier should be curve. And then you can select the curve here. So now you can see already that it snaps to that part. Also here, select to that curve. And oh, if you can't find the curve, then just you can also do it here. Air curve, select this curve. So for some reason this one didn't click. Okay, now it does. Cool. And now you can see if we edit this curve, so just go into edit mode, you can see that we can move it around wherever we want. Cool, right? And yeah, since we have that, we can change a lot. So you can just extrude, you can create another uh, curve, you can subdivide it. Like it works the same as just the regular modeling. Subdivide here, you can move it around here. And what you can also can do is Ctrl T and now you can rotate around this vertex. Awesome. But you can see that it gets kind of blocky and there are multiple ways to change the blockiness of this. But number one is just create some extra edge loops in here. So they are nice and square, right? And so that will already change a lot. Let's also do it with this one. It will be the best if they are, have the same amount of uh, edge loops inside them. This already does a lot, but you can also just give it a subdivision surface, right? So where is it? Subdivision surface. And you can see what it does. So you of course still see some of these lines and those are because our curve or I mean our array did not merge them. And if you merge them, do you see what happens? You can choose how far you want them to merge. But um, yeah, just the main distance is good for me. And if you do it here as well, then you can see that those get more smoothened out. And of course, our smooth modifier W W will do a lot. So let's go to the next part and I'll explain a little bit more about these end caps because you can see that our sausage just ends here, right? And we do not have that here right now. So I'll see you guys there.